What's up, everybody? JC here for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com. 21-22 Panini Photogenic Basketball. Seven box, half case break. Pikachu's number two. You need to get one of those for Man, that must be pretty rare, though. I'm sure they made cards like that, though, but... All right, last ball mojo. I ended up getting last ball mojo. Chris did, that's right. Bulls. Thank you guys for selling this out straight up, guys. So, again, yeah, this is basically... Honestly, this is, this is Stadium Club Baseball. It's just like that meme where it says, hey, can I copy your homework? It's like, yeah, you can. Just just change it up a little bit. It's basically what this is. <laughs> Trash. True, that's right. I thought you meant you like you want a card. Yeah, definitely can get something like a photo. Here we go. We got Isaiah Jackson. And Jared Butler for the Utah Jazz. I think Logan LeBron's is not as valuable as, as uh, Jordan's yet, just only because you can still get LeBron cards, which I feel like some people don't think of it as rare as autographs because you can still find his cards out there, especially like some that were, um, you know, officially licensed still. Because that's the one thing I think a lot of people forget is that when LeBron James finally retires, he won't be part of the Players Association. Which means that Panini and whoever owns the rights to basketball will never make a card of him again. He becomes basically what Michael Jordan is. Kaminga. So all those cards that you see right here will end up being even more rare because you'll never see a card like that produced anymore. And we got Rudy Gobert. Sad times for Jazz fans. No longer. <clears throat> Are you on with that? So whatever year LeBron's last year ends up being, so let's say it's like two years from now, 2024 products will probably end up being like the most expensive for LeBron stuff because it'll be his last flawless logo, man. His last prism base and last, you know, etc. What card is what, Dash? The Cracked Ice? So I forget what they call that one, but that one's out of 75. Then there's like a Gold out of 10, and then there's uh, the 1 of 1 Platinum. So I think the ones out of 75 are Diamond Anniversary. Brandon Boston Jr., look at that, $20 Clippers team. With a hit. Clip show, Mark.
You have a sweet shot 2005 LeBron? Nice. Duarte. JT Thor. Dirk. Ooh, that's nice right here. Look at that. Another Brandon Boston Jr. This is number to 75. Another $20 team right there. Look at that. Shoo. Alright, next box. I know. Well, it's better than other people. Some other people is just literally a scribble. At least he's like abbreviating BB. And honestly, maybe just because I'm not old school, but these guys sell it. These guys are probably signing their rookie year a million times, like legit. Out of like the 15, 20 products they have, and how many times they have to sign in so many different parallels, they're probably signing. Half a million times, probably. So, I think you kind of want to make it easier for yourself and just and just uh, just make it easy. Because honestly, if you're a great player, it doesn't matter what your autograph looks like. Someone's still gonna buy it, right? I mean, I know we make fun of it all the time, like, but if like LeBron signed like that, people would still buy it autograph. I don't think, I don't think like. I don't think it devalues the autograph. Like, if someone has a nice autograph, of course we're going to point it out. Like, man, that's a nice autograph. But when people say that, like, oh, but it's still so-and-so. He sucks. It's like, yeah, but he has a nice autograph, though. But, I mean, you're not going to buy it just because he has a nice autograph. You're only going to buy it if it's valuable. But I will definitely point out the ones that are just like, what the hell, but... Yeah, and sometimes, like, Jonathan can change it, like, after so many times because you just can't do it no more, man. It's just too much. Say so this guy's right here, right? It's kind of, you know, I can see it a little bit right there. Isaiah Jackson, Pacers. Giddy. That's a cool photo of Edwards right there. Primo. Cat. And out of 10 gold, that's Colin Sexton. That's nice. Cavs. That's going to Terry. That's a Kate Cunningham right there. Kobe White and uh, Cole Anthony are literally the same autos. Probably Terry, yeah, they could have. I'm just trying to think that, did they have photogenic in a Chronicles product because usually they kind of test out their new products through Chronicles and then if it's worthy then they kind of put it into their own product. I want to say some of these cards do look like they kind of would have been in Chronicles years past. Simmons, oh my god. This guy. Usman Garuba for the Rockets. Handle that one.
And Aaron Gordon. Like, do we really think that he's going to be traded? Or are you trying to say, like, is he going to request a trade? Because honestly, I mean, he's out of Philly, so I mean, it doesn't matter, right? He sh wouldn't, he shouldn't be requesting the trade. And I would assume that if they're gonna lose KD and Kyrie, then they probably would keep someone like Ben Simmons, at least, you know. Oh yeah, Ken Griffey Jr. is one of the best in the hobby for sure. Mario Rivera's is amazing too, the fact that he can still make it look like that. You know, I think Jerome Bettis' autograph is really nice, too. Scotty Barnes. Evan Mobley. With authority. Garland to 75 for the Cavs. Out of 10, Scotty Lewis for the Charlotte Hornets. Brian Waffer with that one. I mean, I also love Justin Herbert's and Marcus Mariota's. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember how Mariota's is, but honestly, I, I assume that Mariota gave him some pointers for Herbert's because it's somewhat similar in the sense that, like, it's... It still looks the same to this day. But Mariota's autograph is beautiful, dude. And the fact that he still signs like that is amazing. Like, to do it like this... Let me see. I think I have a photo of it. Like, I don't know. I think it's so cool. Like, literally doing that over and over again. Like, to do something like that. And then, obviously, Herbert's... It's kind of like similar in the sense that like he literally still draw writes it out like that over and over again. I gotta tell you guys, these guys sign so much. I wouldn't be even be upset if they changed their autograph. Two more boxes, guys. Brandon Boston Jr. And Josh Christopher for another one for the Rockets. Franz Wagner. Jalen Green, 
Zaire Williams. And Dream on Green to seventy five. Guys, last box. Cater Moly. It's kind of hard with the full photography in this, but I'm sure there was more than just that sentence. And obviously, some of these are also like inserts. So, like. Those are all base cards, but when you flip them around, you'll notice which ones are inserts. Trey Murphy. There's a Cade Cunningham, though. And Isaiah Livers. We got a little tease. Look at Livers' autograph. Jesus. All right, maybe a nice rookie color. There's LeBron James. That's a first night insert. Zion. There's Bones Highland. Oh, it is a rookie. Oh, another teaser. Jeremiah Robinson Earl. All right, all right. Well, guys, again, I kind of like this Wotogenic. It's not too pricey. You do get one autograph per box, and they have all been rookies, so... There you go. First half did have some really, really good names, so. Actually, you know what, guys? I'll probably do this off camera and I find it, I'll, I'll create a different video, but I'm wondering if maybe I just skipped over one of those shoes in the first one. So I definitely didn't see it here, but I'll quickly go through the cards again, let's see. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't see a shoe because you guys would have noticed it. But what if it's hiding in the first case, or first half, we just didn't notice it. First half, though, we did see a lot of big names, to be honest. We've seen a lot of big rookie autographs. Yeah. I don't think it's here. I'm going to look at the other box later. See what it's over there. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.